natin ang Iyakan Blues. Nako, thank you for joining us. Let me introduce them properly. Kasama natin, recipient of the inaugural Career Achievement Award by Stage Raw in 2015. He's the founding artistic director of Playwrights Arena. Siyempre, big deal yun, no? Kasama natin si John Lawrence Rivera. And of course, uh, Giovanni Ortega, one of our correspondents on Kababayan today. Both of you are one of the few Filipinos, marami rami na rin, but you guys are constantly working. A lot has to be said about that. You know, as a yeah. Filipino, being in the arts, uh, you don't see that often, right, John? Yeah. Um, so I know I've had you on the show before. We've spoken about, you know, giving advice to people. But why is it so special that you are part of this production this time around? Well, I think the important thing is that this play is written by a Filipino, directed by a Filipino, and starring Filipinos. And I think that combination, and we also speak Tagalog in the play, so I think there is something that is very authentic about the storytelling. Mm. And it's very rare, I mean, you know, there are many playwrights, sometimes they write it all in, you know, in English, maybe a little bit of Tagalog here and there thrown in, but this one is about a third or, you know, a third of the play is spoken in Tagalog. So I think it's a very unique experience for our um, audiences. Now, um, there is subtitles, so I don't want to scare away anybody who doesn't speak Tagalog going, oh my God, am I going to, under am I going to understand it? Because there are subtitles where, where it's needed. Okay, parang pelikula pala ito, <laughs> di ba? Pelikula on stage. Pa, paano nyo gagawin yung subtitles? Let's say, marami tayo mga kababayan married to Americans or married to people that do not speak the language. How will they follow along? Para bang video kayon? Oh, parang Netflix. Ay, ganun. <laughs> okay, so uh, uh, people at least can follow the story. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, that's very good yeah, to know. I think the story is very is definitely about our culture, but it's very universal as well. I mean, it talks about mother and daughter relationship. It talks about immigrant experiences. So, I think it is going to be. It will speak, you know, to to a universal uh, group of people instead of just specifically Filipinos. Filipinos will really get into it because mm. there is something very honest about it. And and from that experience, I think everybody else will be able to to enjoy the play as well. Okay, what have the challenges been so far for you, Gio? <laughs> um, you know, it's it's really hard because you know it it it, it hits home yeah. so much, and I really wanted to tell the story of all these people. And one of the challenges, I think, is to really hone in the uh, story of Ligaya mm -hmm. and how she moves here and how she transforms or becomes a part of the American culture. Okay. A, a lot of a lot of Kababayans, I mean, all, of all of us can relate, can relate to, to that, that. right? Yeah. The, leaving the Philippines, coming here, the struggles. Because yeah. it's yung kultura. Um, and to be able to see that in arts form in theater yeah. form can be very powerful. You know, one thing I will say is, we rehearsed kami kagabi, mm. and then uh, there's the scene where um, mother and daughter, nagtatagalog, and it's so amazing to watch these seasoned actresses, huh? I mean, both Joan and Nicole have played Kim multiples of times. Yes. So, um, but there's a sensibility of feeling like they're at home. Kasi naririnig mo yung lingwahe ng ating kababayan. So, and that's what it is. And what I'm trying to say is, uh, Tagalog is not often heard. It's a secret for our, our people. Mm -hmm. But there's a little bit of shame when uh, Filipinos have to speak Tagalog in front of other non-Filipinos. Non mm -hmm. Parang nahihiya sila. And what I'm trying to say, and I think we're doing it, and John's doing a great job in saying, Tagalog is beautiful. You should be proud of it. And one thing that I wanted to add is there's also Filipinos who grew up here, who don't know Tagalog, mm -hmm. who have that shame of not speaking Tagalog. Mm -hmm. And we have to embrace and say, you're as Filipino as everybody else. And that's, that's one of the things that I wanted to say with the character of Henny, who's like as Filipino as anyone else, but she doesn't speak it, but she wants to learn. So um, 
Yes. Kinik kin- nakikilabutan ako <laughs> kasi lahat ata ng Pilipino nasa play mo, 'di ba? Yung matagal na nandoon, uh-uh. 'di ba? Nagbi-business, 'yun yung character. <laughs> <laughs> Nagbi-business tapos meron pa yung ano, bagong dating, di- bagong, bagong dating. dating. Yeah. Tapos yung lumaki. Nako, okay, we're gonna be uh, talking about uh, criers for hire the entire show. So join us when we return here on Kababayan today.